Good evening and welcome to our service of evening prayer for Sunday the 15th of October. As always, we begin with our service of light, so I will light our candle. Light and peace in Jesus Christ the Lord. Thanks be to God. Jesus Christ is the light of the world, a light no darkness can extinguish. And we will sing together our uh, opening hymn to the light, O Laughing Light. O laughing light, O firstborn of creation, radiance of glory, light from light begotten, God self-revealing, holy, bright, and blessed, you shine upon us. Day's light is fragile, your light is eternal. We look to you, our light within the shadow. We sing to you, Creator, Christ, and Spirit, you shine before us. Light of the world, O oh Jesus, you are worthy, giver of life and child of God, we praise you. Hear as the universe proclaims your glory, you shine among us. And our psalm is Psalm 46. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore we will not fear, though the earth should change, though the mountains shake in the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, though the mountains tremble with its tumult. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy habitation of the Most High. God is in the midst of the city. It shall not be moved. God will help it when the morning dawns. The nations are in an uproar. The kingdoms totter. He utters his voice. The earth melts. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Come, behold the works of the Lord. See what desolations he has brought on the earth. He makes wars cease to the ends of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the shields with fire. Be still and know that I am God. I am exalted among the nations. I am exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. And our hymn is Eternal Spirit of the Living Christ. Eternal Spirit of the Living Christ, I know not how to ask or what to say. I only know my need as deep as life, and only you can teach me how to pray. Come pray in me the prayer I need this day. Help me to see your purpose and your will. Where I have failed, what I have done amiss. Held in forgiving love, let me be still. Come with the strength I lack, the vision clear. Of neighbor's need of all humanity. Fulfillment of my life in love outpoured. My life in you, O Christ, your love in me. And our gospel is Matthew 23, 13 to 24. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, 
according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. But woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you lock people out of the kingdom of heaven. For you do not go in yourselves, and when others are going in, you stop them. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you cross sea and land to make a single convert, and you make the new convert twice as much a child of hell as yourselves. Woe to you, blind guides, who say whoever swears by the sanctuary is bound by nothing, but whoever swears by the gold of the sanctuary is bound by the oath. You blind fools, for which is greater, the gold or the sanctuary that has made the gold sacred? And you say whoever swears by the altar is bound by nothing, but whoever swears by the gift that is on the altar is bound by the oath. How blind you are! For which is greater, the gift or the altar that makes the gift sacred? So whoever swears by the altar swears by it and everything on it, and whoever swears by the sanctuary swears by it and by the one who dwells in it. And whoever swears by heaven swears by the throne of God and by the one who is seated upon it. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you tithe mint, dill, and cumin, and have neglected the weightier matters of the law, justice, and mercy, and faith. It is these you ought to have practiced without neglecting the others. You blind guides, you strain out a gnat, but swallow a camel. The Gospel of Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So once again, Jesus has a run-in with the Pharisees and the scribes. Uh, his real point, once again, is the hypocrisy of them. They're tithing their mint and their dill and their cumin, and yet they're acting with injustice to the people. The whole point of the tithe was uh, to the tithe, not only dill and herbs, was to tithe everything, was to tithe uh, your life, tithe your time, tithe your, uh, your, your money, uh, to enable justice and righteousness to exist among people. So they got one little tiny part of it and they're focused on that and yet they ignore the rest of it. So Jesus is saying like, live fully into, into God's will for us as human beings, as a society. Uh, don't just do you know half measures, but go all in. Um, so I'm, I'm thinking about what in this crisis situation, what things can we do to make our concern and our compassion, which is, a call to us from from our faith how can we make that real and perhaps if there's one thing that you can do today tonight um, and maybe every day make a phone call make a phone call to someone you know who would like a phone call out of the blue um, checking in with someone perhaps someone who's older someone who's isolated just doing that is is way more than tithing your dill uh, but it's making the compassion that we're called to real. There might be other things that you can do too to help out in safe ways to your neighbors. Let us continue as we sing Ubi Caritas. And uh, once again, this, uh, this means where there is charity and love, there God is. And God is there at that moment because when we are loving, uh, God is love and God is in the midst of our love. Ubi caritas et amor, ubi caritas Deus ibies, ubi caritas et amor, ubi caritas Deus ies, ubi caritas et amor, ubi caritas Deus ies. And now let us confess the faith of our baptism in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. 
he descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. And in our prayers today, when I say, Lord, in your mercy, please respond with, hear our prayer. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. For the peace of the whole world, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For those who are weary, sleepless, and depressed, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For those who are hungry, sick, and frightened, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For rest and refreshment, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Amen. In our prayers today, we continue to pray for those who are sick, those known to us. We pray for those who are suffering because of the effects of COVID-19, for those who are sick with it or whose lives are complicated because of it. We pray also for healers, for the medical community, for the scientific community, as they work tirelessly and with great courage to help guide us out of this pandemic. Today in the parish, we pray especially for Jane Ross, Jody Cocker, Bill Crandall, Ahmad Masi, Judy Graham, Jane Gatke, Marilyn Abraham, Jeff Smith, Bernice Peterson, Peter Robertson, Cheryl Clark, Pat and Les Matthews, Dana Moran, Betty Goodchild, Linda Sutton, Nicola Harrison, and Michael Benoit. We pray for all those who are sick and known to each one of us. We pray, O oh Lord, that the sick might know the healing power of Jesus in their lives and have wholeness of being in body, mind, and spirit. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who have died recently and for those who will die today. We pray, O oh Lord, that all the deceased might know the presence of God ushering them into his heavenly kingdom and that all the bereaved might even in the midst of their grief have a glimpse of their loved one's joy. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we continue to pray for our refugee family, for Muhammad, Karima, Fatin, and Ahmed. We pray for their health and safety. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And uh, we pray for 10 more names in our parish list. Today we pray for Bob and Lorraine Davies, for Norman Dawes, and uh, for Albert de Cruz and Melba Halfpenny de Cruz, for Matthew and Kristen de Roche and their children Oscar and Noble. We pray for Frank and Patricia de Vries, for Guido and Mary de Cesare, for David and Ulrich, Sarah and Lisa Donaldson. For Beverly Doran and John MacArthur, for Robert and Marjorie Doherty, and for Sandra Doyle. We pray, O oh Lord, that they might all be kept safe and healthy. And we pray, O oh Lord, that they might know they belong to a community of faith which cares and prays for them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Today, in the Anglican cycle of prayer, today we pray for the Church of Ceylon extra-provincial to the Archbishop of Canterbury and we pray for the Right Reverend uh, the new Bishop of Colombo the new Bishop of Col Colombo Dushanta Rodrigo and we also pray for the Right Reverend Kirthisiri Fernando the Bishop of Coronegala Kuronegala, and we pray for all the clergy and bishops, the people of that province and those dioceses. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And let us pray our prayer for, uh, from New Zealand for night. Lord, it is night. The night is for stillness. Let us be still in the presence of God. 
It is night after a long day. What has been done has been done. What has not been done has not been done. Let it be. The night is dark. Let our fears of the darkness of the world and of our own lives rest in you. The night is quiet. Let the quietness of your peace enfold us, all dear to us, and all who have no peace. The night heralds the dawn. Let us look expectantly to a new day, new joys, new possibilities. In your name we pray. Amen. And the collect for this Sunday. Blessed Lord who, Lord, who caused all holy scriptures to be written for our learning, grant us so to hear them, read, mark, learn, and inwardly digest them, that we may embrace and everly, ever hold fast the blessed hope of everlasting life, which you have given us in our Savior Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. And gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us pray as our Savior taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And our final hymn is, Bless the Lord, My Soul. Bless the Lord, my soul, and bless God's holy name. Bless the Lord, my soul, who leads me into life. Bless the Lord, my soul, and bless God's holy name. Bless the Lord, my soul, who leads me into life. Bless the Lord, my soul, and bless God's holy name. Bless the Lord, my soul, who leads me into life. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and peace at the last. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Thank you for joining us this evening, and I hope that you'll join us each evening for evening prayer, except Fridays. Uh, good night. <laughs>